This is an inch and a quarter valve. It's been sectioned so you can see how it operates and what the internal parts are. This is the thermostat. It is um, filled with an alcohol solution, which is very responsive to changes in temperature. As the alcohol expands, the internal bellows is pushed down further and this rod extends further. When the valve's assembled, this pin on the thermostat is lined up into this countersunk end of the adjusting screw. So as that pin extends, the effect is that the thermostat and this flange moves deeper into the valve and pulls the piston deeper to close off more of the hot port. So when it's all assembled, Piston is always placed on the thermostat so it hangs down like a bell. This crossbar of the piston hangs on the flange here, and the spring goes on top of that. When it's all assembled, there's a thermostat guide in the valve which stops the spring on the top, and of course, the um, bottom of the spring is touching the thermostat, uh, excuse me, touching the piston. So as the thermostat heats up, the pin on the thermostat gets longer, the shell moves deeper into the valve, it compresses the spring as it closes more of the hot port. Now the mix is getting cooler and the thermostat senses that, the pin contracts and it releases the, valve, the piston so that the spring can push it back down. And that is the way that the Holby tempering valve operates. Only three internal parts, easy to service. It doesn't get much easier. That's it. Now you're an expert. <laughs>